Hi guys, congratulations on the movie. Hi. Um, I was wondering, did you know much about this story before you got the parts, or what sort of research did you do? I, I had been aware of the story, uh, hmm. and I remember thinking, God, that would be a brilliant film, you know. But I didn't know there was uh, an actual script written, and then when I found out, I kind of uh, did my best to sort of make the people who were making it aware that I was around. And mm. so, uh, um, when it finally worked out, and honestly, these things very rarely work out. You know, it just happened that I, I knew Alan Maloney from working on other things, and, mm. uh, and actually, I. I, I had a, a Skype conversation with Richie Smith, but it wasn't until halfway through shooting that I realised I'd worked with him in, in the mid '90s on a commercial, oh, a really? national lottery commercial, <laughs> where I was playing a bellboy in, oh, wow. in, 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 in a lift. Yeah, <laughs> so I had I worked with him before. So anyway, I was just thrilled that it, that it worked out. I, I I'm an exception that I knew about the story. Most people don't. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it is shocking. No. And what about did you meet any of the veterans involved when you were preparing mm. for the role? Yeah, I mean, I think you, you met John, or no, you met... I, met I, I talked to Noel Carey, Noel Carey on Skype while I was down in South Africa. Yeah, I sat with uh, John Gorman, who's kind of been the leading man in, in making people, making sure that people know about this event, and trying to get, vindicate the men. Mm. And another man called Noel Stanley, who was awarded um, a bravery citation by Pat Quinlan. Um, but nobody knows what it's for, so I guess it's kind of dark as to what went on and stuff. Yeah, you know? um, yeah. But I sat with both of them and, and talked to them in detail as to what went on there. You know? Yeah. Did you get any sniper training or anything like that? I got sniper training from this guy, Les. You remember Les? Yeah. Les was this guy, amazing individual. He was in the Rhodesian Special Forces, mm -hmm. the South African Army. Wow. He was in the British Army. He was a scout sniper. He was in Blackwater Contracting Company. All these, and a lovely guy. He was the armorer on, on this, yeah. so he provided us with all our weapons and yeah. told us how they worked. But oh, he great. was a sniper himself, so he kind of trained me, which yeah. was nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Can you still do it now if you're... <laughs> I, could, I reckon I probably could yeah. give it a whack, yeah. <laughs> Some BB guns out, see how it goes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And it seemed so intense, all the whole film throughout. Obviously, it's a battle pretty much from beginning to end. How, what was it like to film and to be a part of that on set? I was very emotional, you know. Yeah, I'd um, imagine. And there's quite a bit of responsibility to to uh, portray these real people, you know, mm. um, who, who did something ordinary men who did something extraordinary, and so we um, we took it very seriously. But at the same time, there was a lot of fun to be had. I think we had there was as much camaraderie between us as actors as there probably were between the the soldiers. Obviously, we weren't really under fire, yeah. but we were probably as close as we could get to it without yeah. actually being in a battle together. So it was, it was a very uh, emotional experience um, just uh, trying to recreate it. But also, um, we were just talking uh, a few minutes ago about how we didn't want it to end, you know. <clears throat> we were, uh, it was very hard to, uh, mm. at the last day of filming, just everyone went their separate ways. That was very difficult. Yeah. yeah. And the conditions were right too. Like, we had wonderful, extras playing our enemies, mm. these wonderful African actors, and they, when they first arrived and we did rehearsals for the battle scenes, mm. they, I don't know if you remember this, but they did this uh, African dance and song yeah. to commemorate um, the bodies, their their souls yeah. to heaven, yeah. because even though they had only gone through the process of dying for the act, yeah. they still believed that, because they put so much into it, that their character had gone and so they would celebrate with this song and you know so we had that type of environment to work yeah. in as well where everything was weighted and everything had value so we kind of we were lucky yeah and we told the Afrikaans uh, extras who were playing the other soldiers mm -hmm. in the film that didn't have lines what had happened um, during the siege and how the men hadn't been recognized for their actions and there were tears in their eyes by the end and, mm. and that's that's why I really believe that this uh, even though this is an Irish story I think it has a universal appeal I think yeah absolutely um, anybody or any anywhere in the world would be yeah. interested in something like this and uh, Sam this is your second time working with Jamie Dornan you worked with him on Anthropoid I did, yeah. um, have you gotten any words of wisdom from him or developed any friendship or <laughs> <laughs> I, I, me and Jamie crossed paths on I did a film called Burnt Oh yes, uh, with Bradley Cooper. Jamie yeah. had been on it, and I uh, and we just we weren't in any scenes together and stuff. And then uh, we obviously joined on this, and then um, went straight on to Anthropoid after we shot this. And so my agent was like, "Let's just like 
put you up for every job that Jamie Dornan has. <laughs> <Jamie Dornan's laughs> he's done. your lucky charm. <laughs> uh, but Jamie's great. I mean, yeah. he's such a gent and he carries his celebrity with such ease and such grace. Yeah. And he's such mm. a great dude and a like, hugely talented actor as well. And it's amazing like to see him bring this guy to life with such strength and such he was he's so solid in it and yeah, it's, yeah. it's lovely to watch you know yeah really absolutely yeah. well listen i really enjoyed it and best of luck with it all i hope you enjoyed tonight thank Thanks you very much lovely to meet you, you too